Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The late replacement opponent for Alexander Usyk for this weekend in Chicago has been confirmed as American Chaz Witherspoon. The 38-year-old has been drafted in at short notice after Tyrone Spong failed a VADA drug test. And Spong himself is claiming that he's innocent, that he's been set up, and that there's been some sort of manipulation that has gone on to prevent him taking this fight with Alexander Usyk. So make of that what you will. But he has been ruled out the Illinois Commission would not grant him a boxing license for this fight with Usyk for October the 12th. So Chaz Witherspoon and Alexander Usyk, it's probably not the fight that many of us ever saw coming, even as a late replacement opponent. Uh, you may recall in my previous video when this news broke of uh, Spong being out, I said, let's keep our expectations in check. It's probably not going to be anyone great at a few days notice. And there were a few names swirling around. Uh, Joey DeWeco was a name, especially among fans, that was potentially favoured to get the nod. Uh, obviously, he hasn't got the fight here. Another name that seemed to crop into the mix was uh, Alexander Usyk. Ustinov, whose manager was saying they had uh, basically agreed to the fight, uh, but Eddie Hearn shut that down quite quickly, and Chaz Witherspoon has emerged as the guy to take the fight with Alexander Usyk. And so this really is keeping our expectations in check because it's not a great fight, probably not a fight uh, many of us would ever want to see in the heavyweight division between uh, someone on Usyk's level and Witherspoon, who really has been a part-time fighter in recent years and hasn't had a meaningful fight in about seven years. So if we just quickly look at the record, so you can kind of get the indication I'm not too jazzed with this fight, but... I have to also keep my own expectations in check like I was saying for others to do in my last video because a few days notice what can we expect. But Witherspoon 38 and 3 his record 29 KO so he can punch a bit. 6 foot 4, 38 years old. Uh, he really hasn't been doing too much in recent years. One fight in 2019 against journeyman Santander Silgado, one fight in 2018, couple in 2016, three in 2015, one in 2014 and his last real relevant fight in the heavyweight division was all the way back in 2012 when he lost to Seth Mitchell. He was knocked out in that fight. So it's fair to say he has been a part-time fighter in recent years and uh, I don't know where they've dug him up from, how he came into the mix here, but obviously he has got the fight. So Witherspoon versus Usyk for Usyk's first fight at heavyweight. Not a great fight, but I guess at the end of the day, They've needed to get someone in there uh, sharpish because the event obviously was at risk if they couldn't. And uh, Witherspoon has signed on, so this will go down in the books as Alexander Usyk's first fight at heavyweight. So, yeah, and if um, Usyk is to step straight into a title fight in his next fight, because remember he is the WBO mandatory challenger, Witherspoon would have prepared him for that. So I think uh, even though he's been drafted in late notice, I think probably 99.9% .9 of us do not really give Witherspoon a chance of winning this fight against Usyk. But I guess it's 2019, it's the year where a lot of strange things have been served up in the heavyweight division. And actually there's been more action out of the ring rather than than in the ring and it's unfortunate the, that the Spong and Usyk fight hasn't gone ahead I guess um, we'll just have to make the best of this it will be good to see Usyk in the ring he's been out for a year now so the fight had to go ahead one because the card is it was basically a sellout in Chicago but also Usyk needs some action he's been out of the ring for a year uh, he obviously has to keep ring rust at bay he has to make that um, heavyweight debut and get some rounds under his belt especially if 2020 is the year that he's going to have a title shot so yeah hard to really took up the positives of this fight but it's some activity for Usyk and he does need it so I expect him to outclass Chaz Witherspoon uh, either by a comfortable points decision or even stopping him by grinding him down through his activity and movement and just wearing Witherspoon out the 38 year old after all he has been stopped before and Alexander Usyk will get a chance to uh at another stoppage potentially to Witherspoon's record but yeah can't say this is a great result for all involved and I have seen some commentary 
from some boxing fans saying it is a setup. Tyrone Spong was taken out of the equation there, but to me that doesn't make any sense because Alexander Usyk has been a road warrior during his career. He's taken tough assignments on the road against sometimes more fancy punches, for example, and he's got the job done. So I don't think he feared uh, what Tyrone Sp- uh, Spong was bringing. But also, no one gains from this. He's getting this late notice opponent in Chaz Witherspoon who no one really wants to see. And it kind of, you know, for all involved here, it doesn't exactly do anything for DAZN, for their subscriptions. It doesn't do anything for the promotion of the card. It just in general, it's not a, you know, ideal to have someone um, failing a drug test a couple of days before a fight and then having a really low level opponent drafted in. So I think some of that talk is wishful thinking. But Alexander Usyk, Chaz Witherspoon, October the 12th in Chicago. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.